Brendan was diagnosed with autism just before he was three years of age. But looking back, he had problems very, very early on. He went into a nursery school that was just for typical kids. He had problems. The frustration for Brendan was his lack of being able to understand what was being said and not being able to express himself verbally or in a written form. He would act out and become physical, biting his wrists or stomping, and then just disrupt his class. So it really created an unteachable situation. I actually found the Shore Centre as a referral from his previous school. We started the Shore Centre for Learning in Montreal in 1975 and we combined two opposite education approaches into the classroom teaching. The first is remedial special education techniques and the second is regular education content learning. We're an inspected school by the ministry and students that come here can earn credits leading to a diploma. And everyone in the administration understands special ed and is totally committed to helping every student that comes here. When I first met him, as I said, he was at a pre-kindergarten level. He had a real gap in his learning. Virginia tested him to see his knowledge of the names of the letters of the alphabet, their phonetic sounds. And he began to see letters aren't just letters, they're words, and words are sentences, and I can use those words to communicate. We have found that a six to one is, is the ideal group size for most of our students. And uh, for some of our students, like Brendan, he requires a one-on-one -on -one and then smaller groups. The one-on-one -on -one learning is key for Brendan. Because he's in very small group settings or just one-on-one, -on -one, they're able to gauge how he's feeling and without even saying anything, just adapt things. I got a very good understanding of, of how he works and, and his likes and dislikes and just a lot of things that I can benefit from as a support to help move him forward. He, his world has opened up so much so that he can take in new information. When he first started, it was just him, the teacher and myself. That's sort of the triangle of learning that he had and, and to him that was what school was. Um, in the past year, um, the focus has been the integration of, of Brendan in a, in a more of a group environment. So one of the ways that he is showing the new knowledge that he's acquired is in testing situations. A lot of autistics will just rote learn things and, uh, and she really focuses on varying things up so he can't memorize uh, something like a, a spelling list. Brendan's biggest success to me is being in the community. While being in the community, we're also uh, looking at more language, so more communication in the community. My goal is always creating uh, an opportunity where Brandon can do something on his own. Now he's at the level where I don't need to walk him in to the school. I just uh, park on the street and he makes his way he wants to make sure I have the car turned on and that I'm going to be leaving. He wants his independence. He doesn't want to see me coming into the school. I found through my own experience that having a family that supports their child and understands the value of education, uh, that will provide an opportunity for success. He's actually going to graduate this year with a report card. I personally believe that Brendan will be independent, but definitely he will be someone who I will run into the two on the bus and the train, you know, working with someone else and seeing him go by on his way to a rec program or, uh, you know, some sort of activity he has scheduled.